Flowhow, sales of Molex 3D and consultancy, specialists in injection molding simulations. Hello, Matt Jespersen, Flowhow. In this video, I want to show you how to uh, use symmetry in a Moldex 3D simulation. I use the program uh, Moldex uh, 3D release 13, service pack 2, with uh, patch 3 on top. Um, yeah. Why use symmetry? The reason for using symmetry is uh, for reducing uh, the size of the uh, the model and uh, thereby reducing uh, simulation time and uh, also uh, preparation time for the for the simulation. Um, I'll take uh, I'll show you how to to use the symmetry uh, through Designer BLM, and I'll uh, use a very simple case. I have this uh, cat part with a runner system, the blue up here and two uh, cavities <clears throat> um, what i then have done is uh, i have uh, split the things so what i will calculate on is half the part one cavity and a runner system with a symmetry plane defined as a, as this surface inside. <clears throat> These, uh, the cavity and the runner is uh, exported as uh, step files, separate step files. And um, I want to show you how to mesh them and uh, define the symmetry plane in the pre-processing. I'll start up a uh, Moldex uh, designer. And uh, use the boundary layer mesh. I have exported the, the parts or the, the part and the runner system over here. And I'll just uh, put them over open. Yeah, that's fine. And uh, I'll put this an import. Yep. Close this and full view with this one. Uh, this one, uh, the runner, I'll define as a runner. Put that property on a uh, cold runner, hot runner. I'll put a cold runner on. And uh, I can click this same time and use this as cavity. Then we have a cavity and a runner. And uh, go to, uh, I need a melt entrance. I click this and then I have a metal entrance. Mold base, you can take it into the simulation. But in this case, it's just for showing how to define the symmetry, so it's not necessary. Then we go to meshing. Let's put some mesh on. Yeah, fine node seating. And we can generate uh, the mesh at once. Of course, there are a bit more work to be done if it's a more complicated uh, ge cat models or geometry. We can just fix the, if there are any bad elements like this. And then we have to define the symmetry plane. And it's uh, this plane up here. I click this uh, button over here called uh, set face boundary condition. Click this. What I want to make a symmetry is I, I only point on the part that 
has the symmetry plane, which is the plane where I've cut through the runner system. And then I hit OK to this. And we'll put this on symmetry face. It's on add here. I want to add a face to it and uh, volume ratio. Volume ratio is if you have, if I cut it, if there were four cavities and I cut it over in the through the middle here, and for example, it was divided down between here, then I'll put it in a fourth of the part and I'll make made this symmetry and also the cut through here as a symmetry plane. But in this case, I've only cut it over in halves so i put in two here volume ratio one half and then i point out the surface there and it's uh, it's defined as symmetry plane and i hit like this then it gives me a warning that because I have a rough model that uh, I have under 16 uh, elements in the middle entrance. Yeah, in this case, it doesn't matter I just to show you how to define the symmetry plane. So I click OK. And then it's actually ready for exporting. I say hit save mesh file and then I save the mesh file. That's how it's uh, how it's done in the pre-processing. Uh, when I go to the analysis, I run the analysis uh, before, and here is the model. Nothing to be done really over in the when you set up the analysis. Um, but when you look at the results, okay, is it defined as a symmetry? How to check that afterwards? A good way to check it is uh, if you go to the filling and push a temperature plot, you can see uh, that it is, it is around the melt temperature inside here. If it hasn't been uh, symmetry, uh, it would also have this uh, bluish uh, color on this uh, cut on this surface. So um, that's the way of, uh, of uh, defining symmetry and using symmetry in the simulations. Thank you for this time and uh, have a nice day.